Alright, good morning. Today we're going to talk about perimeter. And um, the question, essential question is, how can you use a formula to find the perimeter of the rectangle? And remember, perimeter is the area around. So if I had a shape, the perimeter is this side plus this side plus this side plus this side, like if you were going to make a fence. So what we have, what we used to do, or what we've learned before, is we've learned that perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that a little bit further and start to use our multiplication to help us find the perimeter faster. All right, so here's his fence right here. It says to find out how many feet of border Julio needs, find the perimeter of the garden. So my first step when I'm finding perimeter is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to draw my shape. And then what we see here is that it has this side is seven feet and this side is five feet. All right, let's see what we do next. Okay, so this is what I'm showing. So it's seven plus five plus seven plus five. And so it's sevens on this side. That means this side is seven. And if this side is five, this side is five. So let me write that on my paper. So that's this way. So we would do 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 5. I'm going to write that over here. And then we add it together. I'm going to do 5 plus 5 is 10. Plus 7 plus 7, that's 14. So that means it is 24 feet squared. All right. Now, the new way to do it, we're going to use multiplication. And so this is what the problem, see this, this, this is called the formula. Okay, so we're going to do a new formula. Same problem, but we're going to write a new formula. So I'm going to, this is our multiplication formula. We're going to get the same answer, but it's going to be a new formula. So, how many sevens do we have? We have two. Oops, you can't really see that green very well. Let me change my color. Okay, so that means we have two times, we have two groups of seven, don't we? So what we're gonna use is we're gonna use the word, the letter L, this is an L. And then we're going to add it, so this is our L side. Then we add it with two of our width. This is our W. So the W is how wide. So the L is for length, how tall. The W is for wide, how wide. So it's two times W. Okay, so let's plug in our numbers here. So for this formula, it would be parentheses, 2 times L, and L is 7, plus 2 times, don't forget the parentheses because they're very important because that tells you what to do first, 2 times the W, which is the 5, so that means 2 times 7, we have to do what's inside the parentheses first. We can't just start to add. We have to do what's inside that first. So we have to do our multiplication first. So we've got 2 times 7, which is 14. Then we can bring down our plus. 2 times 5 is 10. 14 plus 10 is 24. So this is just, a, we've got the same answer, just a different way of writing it. So we've learned before of the, adding each of the sides, and remember, 
multiplication is just repeated addition, so we've just we do it here. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we have a. This is just another one. So p is perimeter, length, width. So the formula that you really want to write down and that you want to make sure that you know is this one. Anytime it asks you for perimeter, this is what you should remember. 2 times the length, 2 times the width. And here's our little picture. So length and width. So I'm going to draw a little picture that goes with it here just so you remember. So this is the length and this is the width. And this is the perimeter of rectangles and squares. So this is what we use for rectangles and squares. We use a different one for the other shapes. All right, let's do one more problem. Okay, so this, remember, this is the one you want to have in your notebook because this is what you're going to want to use when you are on your test. All right, so first, draw my shape. So I've got my rectangle. This side is 8 feet. This is 4 feet. And I'm going to go ahead and put that this side is L and this side is W to help me remember. So then what I recommend is always write down the formula. So I'm going to write down the formula again. So I've got 2 times length plus 2 times width. That means I've got 2 of these and I've got 2 of those. Then I'm going to plug in my numbers now. So I've got 2 times and my L is 8. plus 2 times my 4, which is my width. Now, I've got to remember to do what's inside the parentheses first, so then I'm going to do, okay, 2 times, I know I'm going to plus them, 2 times 8 is 16, 2 times 4 is 8, and then I'm going to add them together, and that means, remember, this is how much, like either how many, how long of the fence you're going to get, how many rocks you're going to get. The perimeter is the outside. The perimeter is the outside. So then 16 plus 8 is 24. Now, don't forget your label. Now, this is something... We can't just put feet, because when we multiply it, that means we have feet twice. So that's why we put this little 2 up here. It's called squared. Or yes. So 24 feet, and then you have to put the little 2 up there. That way they know um, that it's a perimeter. Let's check our work. So we just did the same thing. We wrote down the formula. We wrote down the answer. We added it and then we put the answer here. So if you have a question on um, your Go Math and they want you to fill out each of these spots, this is what it looks like. All right, and then we have a couple more that you can try on your own. And I will see you at class to talk about it a little bit more.